Hello everyone, this is Balaji Kaya signing in for Brain Smart Labs. From today on, we will be entering an important topic in SQL. Okay. The main purpose of using SQL is to query our database and to retrieve the matching information what we have asked for. Hmm. To properly understand querying, we need to see a larger table which is having a larger sets of data. Okay. So to achieve this, in today's class, we will be creating an all new table via which I will be explaining you how to query a database depending on real life scenarios. Yes! But before we do that, let us start seeing what we did in our previous session. In our previous session autopsy of our first SQL table, we saw the syntax for create command, describe command, insert command and select command wherein we also saw an example for the same relating to our table chit chat corner. In this session we also saw the four ways to use our insert command wherein A is by mentioning the column names, B is by not mentioning any column names, C is by skipping a few columns during insertion and D is by changing the order of values during insertion. Here in this chapter we also saw an important industry standard wherein we have to enclose our string or char values using single quotes and not by using double quotes even though the usage of double quotes is perfectly valid. Reason being, tomorrow if we use the same query in our Java program just to communicate with our database, it will lead to lot of compilation errors as opening of double quotes there means starting of a new string in our Java program. Coming to an end of our yesterday's session, we saw the various data types that will be used inside our daily programs which are number, varchar, varchar2, char, date, blob and timestamp. In today's chapter, it is time to start everything from fresh. Imagine the month of March, where all students will be writing their 10th standard SLC examination. In the month of April, same students will be searching for a good tuition. Uh oh. They will search for tuitions not because they will fail in SLC. It is because they want to score good marks in their PUC. So the moment they are out of school, they will start searching for good tuitions, where they teach physics, chemistry, maths and biology. That is correct. Now imagine there are a bunch of geeks who think they are pro in all these subjects. Now they decide to open their own tutorial center bearing the name as Topper Tutorials. Oh, yeah! As they run a tutorial center, they will be needing a database to store the data of all students. Okay. Now if you ask me why, the database is to maintain proper fee records of all students, that is to ensure each student has paid his fees correctly or not. That is correct. So as an administrator of Topper Tutorials database, what do you think the table should contain? What? Here is a small illustration for the same. Take a look at this table. Topper Tutorial Database In the table by name Topper Tutorials in our database, we would like to have the following columns. The first column will be serial number, the second column will be student name. The third column will be gender, the fourth column will be joining date. You all must be knowing that in any tutorial center, they consider the score in SLC Science and SLC Maths before giving you an admission. So in this table, we have to dedicate two columns by name SLC Science and SLC Maths wherein you store the candidate's previous scores in his or her board exams. Now in the last column, we have a very important field by name Fee Paid which is dedicated to hold the record of total fee paid of each candidate. Guru, the world SQL prompt looks very boring. It's almost typing everything in command line. Is there any other place like edit plus wherein we can run all our SQL commands full color color ragi? Of course, there is a place by name application express. In fact, today I was about to teach you that only. Take a look. Application express in Oracle. On your desktop window, click on the Oracle icon from where you did configurations day before yesterday. Here on this page, click on the button Application Express as you can see over here. Type in the username as System where everything is in caps and type in the password as Tiger where everything is in small letters.
Once you successfully log in, click on the button which says I already have an account. This will lead you to a login page from where you can access your workspace. In the following page, enter the workspace name as Brainsmart which we had created before to store all our SQL tables. Now for the username and password, type in whatever credentials you had given for you to log in successfully into the page before you press the login button. Click on the login button to continue for you to successfully log in to Apex which is a short form for Application Express and this is a tool we use in Oracle. Click on the icon SQL Workshop and then click on SQL Commands. The following click will lead us to an empty page and this is the place where we type all our SQL commands. So from here on, everyone will be using Application Express provided by Oracle for you to type any SQL query. Yes! In fact, this is very easy to use compared to your earlier command prompt window. Oh really? This is a free tool given by Oracle for you to execute any SQL command you choose. Hmm. So what are we waiting for? Let us now create our second SQL table topper tutorials inside our database. Creating the topper tutorials table. Inside your Apex tool, start writing the code as C R E A T E create space T A P L E table space topper tutorials which is our table name and now press the enter key to exit the first line. In the consecutive line, open the small parenthesis and press enter to again move to the next line. From here on, we declare all our columns related to topper tutorials table one by one starting with number one, serial number. Serial number is the first column which is of type number and it is of size three. Student name is the second column which is of type varchar2 and it is of size 30. Gender is our third column which is of type char and it is of size 1. Joining date is our fourth column which is of type date whose format is default. SSLC signs is our fifth column which is of type number and it is of size 3. SSLC Maths is our 6th column which is again of type number and it is of size 3. Last but not the least, we have the 7th column as fee paid which is of type number and it is of size 6. Please note, while typing the last column, do not type a comma here as it is the last column. If at all you put a comma here, you will be getting a strong SQL error so be careful. In the end, we have to close the parenthesis what we have opened above and then we have to type a semicolon in the end to finally conclude our create command. Now here comes the interesting part, how to run the following command. Move your mouse pointer here and select all lines what you have typed below. On the top center that is over here, click the run button above which is yellow in color. Kaboom! Your table will be created at the back end and you will be receiving a message over here stating table is created inside your database. If in case you get any error over here, do not worry. You might have done some silly mistakes here and there. Okay. Just revise the code what you have written, correct the mistakes what you have committed, rerun the code what you have written and kaboom. Your table will be created within a flash. There are some Brihaspatis who try to create the same table with the same name again and again. Oh no! If you repeat that mistake one more time, Ange Jars Vadburti Nakanda. How many times to tell you? Nachke Agalvanimge, Matte Matte Eras Kolake. I am again repeating one more time. This is my last warning. You cannot create tables having the same name two or more times inside the same database. That is correct. If at all you try to do that, you will get an SQL error stating table is already present inside your database. Suppose, only suppose, if you have done some mistake in any of the column and you want to change the name or anything inside, the only option for you now is to erase the table completely using the drop command and to recreate the table once again. Okay. Guru, how to know that we have done a mistake while creating our table? Le Gubaldo, describe command kano, DESC. Type DESE space table name, in this case it is topper tutorials and end the statement with a semicolon. Select the command using the mouse pointer and click the run button for you to run the command. 
kaboom the table what you have created its columns its data types and its size everything will be displayed to you as an output if at all you feel you have committed something wrong as i said before just drop the table and recreate it one more time okay guru create table leno sari but kale table idre yen prayojana where is the data hey yena timing macha just now a student by name satyam took admission in topper tutorials and he has paid 3000 rupees as advance oh really come on let's insert the data yes the first row of our topper tutorials will be 01 satyam whose gender is male whose joining date is 30th of april 2016 our satyam has scored 45 in science 35 in maths and for now he has paid rupees 3000 as his initial advance now to insert the following record into our database we need to type the following command i n s e r t insert space i n t o into space topper tutorials which is our table name and press enter in the next line start typing v a l u e s values open the small parenthesis and start typing 01 comma satyam comma m which represents male comma april 30th 2016 in single quotes comma 45 comma 35 comma 3000 and close the parenthesis here with a semicolon select the entire statement here and click the run button only once kaboom you will get a notification here which says your row has been successfully inserted congratulations Please, 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 for heaven's sake, do not press the run button multiple times just because you can do it. Okay. If you do like that, the same row will be duplicated again and again, which will lead to multiple rows of worthless data. Oh, no. Of course, you can delete that row using delete command, which I'll be teaching in my further classes. Hmm. But till then, you have to bear with the same pieces of worthless data, which will trouble you a lot in future. Okay. If in case you do like that as a punishment, drop the entire table once again, create the entire table once again and reinsert the values only one time. Moving on, let us see how to insert the second student Shivam who is a close friend of Satyam and he joins the institute on May 4th of 2016. As I have said before, seeing Satyam joining our topper tutorials, his friend Shivam also joins the same institute. He is a male candidate and he joins the institute on 4th of May 2016. Shivam has scored 85 marks in science and 69 marks in maths. He also pays an initial advance of rupees 3000 to our topper tutorials institute. To insert Shivam into our database, type insert space into space topper tutorials and then press enter in the next line type values open small parenthesis and then start typing the values as 0 to comma shivam in single quotes comma m in single quotes as both are text data next type in the date 4th of may 2016 in single quotes as shown here as it is very 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 important more about this date and date data type I will be discussing with you in my further classes. Till then, please type the exact same thing what we have typed over here. Hmm. It is a very big concept and if I start explaining you now, there is no chance that you will understand. Type the number 85,69,3000 and close the parenthesis here with a semicolon. Highlight the command what you have typed using a mouse and run the command by pressing the run button which is present right above. Kaboom! Your row is now successfully inserted and you will get a notification after the run. Now here comes the real topper of our entire topper tutorials institute. And believe it or not, for the first time someone has paid a full fee of rupees 5000 to our institute, that too in one shot. Take a look at this Mahanubhava. The third candidate to our institute is Mr. Sundaram who is a male and he joins the institute on 30th of May 2016. He has literally scored 95 in science, 75 in maths and as I have said before, for the first time someone has paid the full fee of Rs. 5000 in one shot. 
Now, how to insert Sundaram into our database? I will not explain you line by line. Hmm. Instead, I insist you to take a look at this animation for you to write down inside your notes. Nice. Guru, you have showed us only one way of insertion everywhere. Can we also try other ways of insert? Of course you can try it. But please remember, the outcome of the insertion will be the same. For the last insert command, instead of second way of insertion, what we have written over here, we can change it to the first way as I have explained you in my previous session. But please remember, if you add column names and then insert, the outcome here will be the same and there will be no difference. Sometimes you feel like omitting a few columns and then insert like this. In such cases, values for the corresponding columns will not get added into the table and will be kept empty till you update the corresponding row. For now, I advise you do not do such circus. Keep the insert command same to same as shown here and make sure you insert all values into each column present. Good news! Good news! Good news! Yeah, no, the good news, sir. Guru, we have to go to the Tutorials Institute and we have to go to the Tutorials Institute. How is that? How is that, Guru? First, we have to go to the Amaranth. We have to go to the Madhuramath Premanth. Oh, oh! We have to go to the Tutorials Institute. Oh, yeah! We have to go to the Tutorials Institute. Let us see our job of adding them into our database. If you observe the entries of Amara, Madhura and Prema, all three candidates are females. One joined on 7th of June 2016 and the remaining joined on 22nd June 2016. Amara has scored 75 in science, 60 in maths and she has paid Rs. 2500 as advance. Madhura paid the full fee of Rs. 5000 as advance and guess what? She has scored 91 in science and 98 in maths. Adike Eladu. Beauty with brain santa. Oh yeah! Prema on the other hand has scored 53 marks in science and 63 marks in maths and she has paid rupees 3000 as advance. Now here comes an interesting part on how to insert these three rows into our table. Please listen to this very carefully. Okay! Just because you can write the insert query all at once, do not highlight all queries like this and press the run button here like this. If you do like that in Apex, you will get an oracle error here stating multiple statements cannot be executed blah blah blah. Reason is simple. In this application express, you can execute only one command over here at one point of time. If you try to execute multiple commands all at once, you will get an SQL error like this as it is totally invalid. The best way to run these insert commands is by selecting each query one by one for us to execute only one at a time. By this, we have successfully created the table topper tutorials and we have inserted the values which are enough for learning basic queries. Bravo! And now, it is time to query and verify whether all values inside have been added or not. Okay! Initially, to test all the values have been added or not, type in the query as select space star space from space table name which is topper tutorials in this case and end the statement with a semicolon. Highlight the query using a mouse and press the run button here to run the same. Kaboom! 
You will get a full report of our topper tutorials table. As you can see, the records of all students who are present inside our institute. Congratulations! From now on, the subject will get very steep and it will be very interesting. Okay! We will be discussing real-time scenarios through which we can query the table as and when needed. Here, from now on, I need your full attention. First, create the above table, then insert the values and be ready for round 2 of this session where I will be discussing with you some real-time scenarios. Oh, yeah! Scenario number 1 Display only student name, SLC science and SLC maths columns of all students in our table topper tutorials. Looks like the management of topper tutorials want to analyze the quality of the students what they have got. Ooh. For this reason, they are asking us to display only student name, SLC science and SLC maths. Come on, let us first analyze the table topper tutorials, then automatically the query for the same can be framed. In our whole wide topper tutorials table, the management wants us to display only these three columns as shown here. To achieve this scenario, Introducing the SELECT clause Wherein the SELECT clause in our SQL query directs the database to select and display only specific columns in an SQL table. For example, if you write the query as SELECT STAR from topper tutorials, the query will execute fine but it will display all columns which is present in that table that is this. Whereas if you type the query as select student name comma SLC science comma SLC maths from topper tutorials, the query will execute fine and this time it will display only specific columns what is mentioned in your query that is this. So nee solrudhu whatever columns we need, we need to just mention those column names instead of a star. You are very much correct. Yes! A star symbol in SQL query simply means all columns. But if you write specific column names beside our select statement, it will display only those column names what you have mentioned. Oh really? So in the query section, let us start typing select space student name, comma SLC science, comma SLC maths and then press enter. In the next line, we type from space table name, in our case it is topper tutorials and then type a semicolon. Highlight the query using the mouse and run the command for you to get only specific columns as an output as seen over here. Congratulations! Scenario number 2 Display only the student name, SLC science and SLC math score of a student by name Madhura only. Oh ho! Looks like Miss Madhura is getting all the attention. Neenu chanage marks tagi, neengo attention sigutte. Adala agdero kelsa. Avaluga attention sikkudre stu bitrest. Please tell us how to write the query. In our table topper tutorials, they want us to select only these three columns and inside this they want the details of only one student by name Madhura. Now how to write a query? Introducing the all new WHERE clause Wherein WHERE clause in our SQL query directs the database to search and display only specific rows in our SQL table. For example, if we have a query which says select star from topper tutorials where student name equal to Madhura, the database will retrieve all those rows whose student name entry matches with the name Madhura like this. So if we apply the same WHERE clause to our following scenario, we need to type the query as select space student name comma SLC science comma SLC maths in the first line. In the next line type from space topper tutorials and enter the next line. Continue the query as where space student name equal to Madhura in single quotes where Madhura is an entry we need to match. End the query on the third line by concluding it with a semicolon. Now highlight the query using a mouse pointer like this, run the query using the run button like this and kaboom. You have successfully retrieved three columns whose details are pertaining to a student by name Madhura only. Congratulations! Now here is a small assignment for you. The next scenario, I am not going to explain it to you. Okay. 
for this you yourself have to figure it out what should be the query hmm if you have understood till here i know you will definitely be able to crack the next one yes scenario number 3 many assignment display only student name joining date fee paid of a student by name shivam answer to this scenario will be provided at the end of this video guru i have one doubt in sql why we are writing everything in caps is it mandatory for us to write everything in caps very good question no it is not at all mandatory but yes you have to write everything in caps as it is an industry standard convention okay people who are using lower case alphabets in your queries please stop using it from today in any big company project your queries will always be in caps no matter it is a keyword name of the table column name or it is a value it's my sincere request well if you don't follow my words your project manager in the company will take his care and beat you till you get jora hope you understand scenario number 4 display all records of students from topper tutorials tables whose names are starting with character s that means in your topper tutorials table they are seeking all records of students whose student name is satyam shivam and sundaram yappa idi outra requirement guru how can we search the names based on their first character it's impossible right yaar heli the impossible anta introducing the all new pattern matching wherein pattern matching is an operation used to match the pattern of the given text using the predefined wild cards you know wild card angandren guru the wild cards in pattern matching is a sample string used to match the given string for example yes percentage matches with all names which are starting with character s percentage ra matches with all names which is ending with characters r and a guru ella tale mel hogta ide ondu artha aagta illa hey why take tension when i am here i will teach you now pattern matching everything in detail take a look pattern matching in sql consider a mini sql query which is written here as follows select student name in line 1 from topper tutorials in line 2 and in line number 3 we write the where clause with pattern matching operation embedded that is where student name like s percentage if we try a query like this and press run we get the output result as satyam shivam and sundaram here like is a pattern matching operator we have used yes percentage is the pattern string that we have fed and percentage symbol here is present as our wild card the above pattern matching is done to match all the student names whose names are starting with letter s not sure how it is working let me give you one more example in the first line we type select student name comma joining date in the next line we type from topper tutorials which is our table name and in line number 3 we write the pattern matching operation as where student name like percentage are if we press run on our query like this we get the output as amara followed by her joining date later we get madhura followed by her joining date here once again like is a pattern matching operator we have used percentage array is a pattern string what we have fed and the percentage symbol here what is present acts as a wild card the above pattern matching is done to match all students whose names are ending with characters array guru appudu nunchi emo wild card wild card ani cheptunnav kada em adi wild card ante if you are asking me what is a wild card A wild card acts as a joker card in your rummy game. A wild card when added to a pattern will signify any character or a set of characters that can fit in that place of a wild card. It means in a pattern if you place a wild card anywhere any character can match in that place of a wild card as it is a joker card. In SQL there are two kinds of wild cards used in pattern matching. They are one is an underscore and the other one is our percentage symbol. An underscore matches with a single character whereas the percentage symbol matches with multiple sets of characters. If you understand how to use these two symbols, it means you are a pro in pattern making and matching. 
ఏమే సింగిల్ క్యారెక్టర్ లో అండర్ స్కోరు మల్టిపుల్ క్యారెక్టర్స్ లో పర్సెంటేజ్ సింబల్ కొంచెం కూడా అర్థం కాలేదు టు అండర్స్టాండ్ దిస్ ప్యాటర్న్ మ్యాచింగ్ అండ్ యూజ్ ఆఫ్ ఫైల్ కార్డ్స్ ఫస్ట్ వీ నీడ్ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ హౌ టు బిల్డ్ ప్యాటర్న్ స్ట్రింగ్ టేక్ అ లుక్ హౌ టు బిల్డ్ ప్యాటర్న్ స్ట్రింగ్ ప్యాటర్న్ నంబర్ వన్ Build a pattern which has to yield an exact 100% match to the name Satyam. Now if you ask me how to build a pattern for this, 100% match is only possible if and only if we give the same string as an input that is Satyam. Now as a result, as we all know, only one output qualifies for the above pattern string that is Satyam. I know the first pattern was a bit confusing for you. and all will be wondering what the hell just happened yes but i am pretty confident in the end of this session you will be able to understand why i showed you this pattern okay pattern number 2 build pattern to match a name whose length is of 5 characters only hmm now it is getting interesting show us the pattern well if you ask me to write the pattern for the same it is underscore 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 and underscore See we have placed five wild cards for single characters that is here 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 and here and it is of exactly five times if we observe the results for the following pattern we have the name amara which is of length five characters and the name prema which is again of length five characters if you go check the table personally and see no other name is exactly matching with five character pattern and so using five underscores in a pattern which are all wild cards for single characters we have built a pattern string which matches for five characters only super guru super amazing didn't know pattern matching will be so interesting ah i told you it start only no it will be very interesting pattern number 3 build a pattern to match a name which is exactly of six characters in length whose name will always start with character s and whose name will always end with character m yes e girod maja if you ask me to build a pattern string for the same it is s underscore 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 and m if you clearly observe the pattern string it is of 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 characters in length and over here there are four wild cards in between which can literally match with any character in your string now if you see the results for the following pattern we get the result as satyam which is of 6 characters in length and we also get the result as shivam which is also 6 characters in length where both names here are starting with the character s and ending with the character m as mentioned in the above pattern if you don't believe my words feel free to see the table and verify it for yourself no name other than satyam and shivam matches with the above criteria okay awesome pattern building and matching is the best thing i have done in my entire life pattern number 4 build a pattern which matches with any number of characters and also matches with any characters of any length this is a very peculiar case they have asked you to build a pattern which literally matches with anything oh really For matching multiple sets of characters we have our percentage symbol which matches with almost any string in the world which is of any length as it is a wild card. So if you check the results for the following pattern we get the resultant names as Satyam, Shivam, Sundaram, Amara, Madhura and Prema which is actually every name inside our database. Oh, now I understand what is that percentage symbol. Do you have few more examples on this wild card? Of course I can give many examples on it. Take a look. Pattern number 5. Build a pattern that matches with the name which can be of any character in length but the first letter of that name should always start with character S. Wait, wait, wait. Can I guess the pattern? Is it yes percentage by any chance? You're absolutely right. The pattern for the above criteria is definitely yes percentage. Reason is simple. The pattern itself is starting with character S and then we have a wild card for multiple characters which can go up to any length. If you observe the results we have the name Satyam, Shivam and Sundaram as they are exactly matching with the above pattern. Yes, I got it right. Pattern number 
build a pattern which matches with the name having any number of characters inside but the last letter of the name should always end with character A. You mean the small letter A? Yes, it is the small letter A. Okay. But how it is possible? We have all typed our data in capital letters, right? There is not a single small letter A in our entire database. Hmm, is it? Let us try it once and then find out. I will keep the pattern string as percentage symbol with a small letter A. If we try finding the results, we will get the names as Amara, Madura and Prema. As you can see, your Oracle SQL did not consider the case of alphabet A while fetching you the above results even though the above names are ending with capital letter A. This means only one thing. The pattern matching you do in SQL is not case sensitive. In other languages like Java and JavaScript, we have pattern matching more strict and more superior than what you are seeing over here. There the case of an alphabet matters, but here the case of the alphabet does not matter. Hmm. I wanted to convey this message, so I showed you the above example. Okay. Next we will see pattern number 7. Pattern number 7 Build a pattern which matches with the name which is of exactly 6 characters in length whose last two letters must have characters A and M present to the end. This is very easy. The pattern will definitely be underscore 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 character A in 5th position and character M in 6th position. If we closely observe the pattern, it has 4 wild cards here, here, here and here where each of them represents a single character. The overall length of the pattern here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 which is exactly of 6 characters as mentioned above. Now if you observe the results, the names which are matching with the above pattern are Satyam and Shivam. Even though the name Sundaram is ending with characters A and M, it is not eligible for the above pattern as the name is not equal to 6 characters in length. So by now, I hope all are clear with the above pattern making and matching. Yes! It is now time for us to get back to scenario number 4. I hope you all might have guessed by now what is the query we are going to write. In the query section, write select star and press enter. In the next line, write from topper tutorials which is our table name. In the last line, write where student name like s percentage semicolon and run the query by highlighting it. Kaboom! You see, we have received all records of students whose names are starting with character S. Congratulations! Please understand, the like what you are using here is just an operator, just like your equal to symbol which also represents equality operator. This like is nowhere connected to your Facebook like and no thumbs up icon will come and save you in your interview. That is why I sincerely suggest, please practice hard with all examples I have taught you today in this session. Okay. Use pattern matching with all 7 patterns I taught you and verify the results on your table. Hmm. There is one more last scenario which I will be giving it to you as a mini assignment, so take a look. Scenario number 5. Mini Assignment Display student name and fee paid of all students who have the characters AR in their name inside in between. Do this assignment without fail as this scenario is really challenging. And that brings me to the end of this video, understanding where clause part 1. Do text us your doubts on WhatsApp if you have any so that we can solve it for you. Remember, you understanding the subject is our topmost priority. Do refer your friends to buy this series on our website www.brainsmartlabs.com which will give us a financial aid for us to make more and more videos like this. Until then, this is Balaji Kaya signing out and you know what to do. Muchkon query madi. Bye bye.